Woke up this morning. I got myself fab. I got myself a fab. That's what I saw when I woke up. I was working and I didn't really have time to look at my feed or anything. So I'm kind of late to the game, but I'm a new Unreal Engine artist user. And I like the engine. I actually use Unreal Engine more than I use Autodesk Maya now. I just use Autodesk Maya to model and fix a couple of messed up message or messes or ash or assets. But I'm a little confused here, guys, and that's why I'm making this video. Let's go back to the top. Fab. Fab has taken over the marketplace and taken over the Quixel Bridge and Sketch Fab and a couple of other things. And I'm like, what is going on here? For a new person like me who does not know anything about what's going on here, can somebody help me out in the comment section here? Everything that used to be free in the marketplace and in Quixel Bridge will will be free until October. And then from October to the end of the year of 2024, it will be free. And then when this new fab kicks in, it will be paid now. And then I, 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 what is going on here? I like to say it's my fault because I just got into the engine and I just got into it. And as somebody said, mm -mm, this guy, he's learning Unreal Engine. We got to do something to mess that up because I'm feeling a little sad, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, I'm feeling a little sad because um, for someone new like me, and if you look at all my other videos, I'm new to Unreal Engine. I got this model from Sketchfab right here. And, you know, I'm just learning how to do things. I got this room from the Unreal Marketplace, uh, one of those free downloads. Is that going to be gone after a while? Is it going to be free for the month? I, I have so many questions that I know is probably noob and novice, novice questions, but I'm sure they're valid questions. You know, I've been looking around and I've gotten half answers and stuff like that. And some people have speculations. I could tell you one thing for sure. A lot of people are not happy. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, man. Can can I do that for free from now on? Can I can I get assets? I mean, look. Epic is a marketplace. They're a company, and at the end of the day, they have to make a revenue. And I think in from a business perspective, this is a good move. They can actually make some money now. Uh, because, I mean, come on now, let's face it. Unreal Engine is being used in a lot of production. A lot of assets are being used. A lot of work goes into it. And, you know, I think they made their money. And they think they made a name for themselves. And now they say, hey, guys, shoot, let's get paid. Remember Digital Tutors? Way back in the days, remember that? Digital Tutors was free for everyone. And I fell in love with Digital Tutors. And then when they started paying making a paid platform yeah i got a little angry but I, I i i understood i understood and then later on another company came over and took it over and before you know it nobody talks about digital tutors nor that company anymore so yikesy yikesy so this is a meta human here all right so i scant this person's face <laughs> wait, wait till i show him this video he's gonna be rolling I scanned his face in MetaHuman. Now, MetaHuman, I usually bring my MetaHumans in through Quixel Bridge. So once they get rid of Quixel Bridge and they put Fab, will I be able to still do the same thing? Or will now MetaHumans, will they charge me for MetaHumans now? I'm, I'm so confused. I got to be honest with you. It's sad to know that all these things are happening. It's a good thing for the new year and for revenue for businesses, but for the new 3D artists like myself, it's going to be hard because I'll be honest with you. I never, I would have never gotten as far as I've gotten without free assets, to be honest with you. Even from um, Kitbash, they gave out some free assets. And because of Kitbash giving out those free assets, um, I've learned so much about assets and learned how to group them and how to migrate them. And I didn't know all those things just because I had them. And imagine if a new person who just wanted to get into this didn't have access to those free assets anymore. Look, everything here on this screen, I did not pay a dime for. Not a dime. And look how beautiful it looks. And you can't be mad at the people who gave us access to this because I was sitting there angry too. And I was like, what is happening here? What is going on? And, you know... 
I mean, I guess they said the free ride is over, right? I guess nothing's nothing lasts forever. Uh, I'm just basically making this video just to start a conversation in the comment section, get some things going, see what people's opinions are when it comes to this. Because, man, like, you know, when I first got in here... And I started messing around with all these free assets, especially from Sketchfab. And I'm like, ah, look at this asset. One click rig. It's a free plugin that I got from another place. You see it here, one click rig. And they gave us that right there. And I'm now I was I'm able to actually rig <laughs> Sketchfab assets and use it in my projects. But now I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm sure you can still do it, but everything has a paywall behind it now. So it's I'm, I'll be honest with you, I am getting so fed up of in the 3D world, in the animation world, it, that, you know, you, you, you have subscriptions to things, and there's certain things that I would love to be able to have access to, like iClone, I put everything in the shopping cart, $800, and I was like, oh my god, and then you, I have my Google, Netflix, and my Hulu, and then I have my Metro card, and then, you know, then, oh god forbid I have to eat, so, you know, after a while, everything piles up, so, I mean, am I mad at they, am, are they changing this whole thing? I'm, I'm a little confused, to be honest with you, because I'm like, what is going on here from a new perspective for some of you veterans, if you guys even have a moment to even look at my little channel, or someone points you to my channel, tell them hey look this guy's confused can you help him out because shoot it looks like some of the big dogs are confused as well too so it's not just me bruh bruh um so yeah that's pretty much it i don't want to make this video too long i just i was just wanted to get some information and get a conversation going about this new fab i mean we knew it was coming when they introduced it at gdc and you know we were just hoping that it didn't get announced and come to flourishing but i mean Somebody's going to make some money out of this. Hopefully the artist, they said 100% revenue for the artist. I'm not too sure what that means. I'm not selling anything on this, so I'm not a seller. I'm just basically a freeloader, a freeloader, downloader, basically trying to learn how to use Unreal Engine with all these assets. And look at this. I mean, this looks like a living mess right here to someone who does not know how to use this. So, I mean, not only will I have to learn how to use this engine and learn what all these things are. Now, if I wanted to add these things so I can see what everything looks in the element, it's going to cost some money. So, I mean, another year from now, this scene that you're looking at that, that is actually free. I got this whole thing, a little safe house, the robot from Sketchfab. That's a meta human of somebody I know. Wait till I show them that they are going to be rolling. Um, this might end up costing you like 20 bucks just to put this scene together if you wanted to download separate things. So tell me what you think about it. Tell me if it, if it's going to affect you. Tell me if it, if you don't care. Tell me if you think it's a good thing. I like to hear from a new person who just started using Unreal Engine like literally eight months ago, eight months in. This is what I've got so far. So I'm not a professional, no way near, but look at that. Man. I'm getting better because I was able to get free assets. So I'm a little scared because I get like 80% of my assets from Sketchfab because there's so many fan-made things on there. And these guys are good. So uh, what about the free stuff? Is that still going to be available? Is that going to be removed? You know, I feel like us regular 3D artists are getting phased out and paywalls and AI is taking over. And it, it's like, is the craft going away, man? Am, am I in the wrong profession now? You know, should I just study AI prompts and all that kind of stuff? Because it seems like even in the 3D artist world, it's, it's getting a little tight, man. And, and it's making me a little nervous. So anyway, my name is Michael Hurd from the Michael Production Studio. Rendering your imagination. And uh, leave the comments in the description and tell me what you think. In the comment section, I mean. And I'll talk to you guys the next time I do a video.